Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a weaning essentials video as Theodore is slowly approaching six months. So I just thought I'd show you what bits we've got and how we're planning to do weaning. And yeah, I'm just super excited. Don't forget to subscribe down below, like it, share it if you want. I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers and it's just etching forward and then etching back and etching forward again. So please, if you like what you see, do subscribe and let's get on with the video. So I know there's different routes you can go down with weaning your baby onto food. Uh, one being puree, which is the more traditional route, and the other is baby led weaning. We are actually going to be doing baby led weaning with Theodore. Uh, it's something I've always known I wanted to do with him, just because, one, I think to free me up a little bit, like, so I'm not constantly spoon feeding a baby all the time. And two, just so he is doing it himself and he is gonna be as independent as possible straight away and, and thirdly it just makes it so much more convenient for me well us as us as a family obviously because whatever you choose you've chosen because it's going to be the best for your family i just don't want to be stuck in a kitchen all the time making puree meals and constantly making purees and having to do separate meals for him and separate meals for us you know i don't carl works pretty much till late in the evening sometimes and sometimes I don't get tea till eight o'clock so if he's eating what I'm eating at a reasonable time it just makes it so much easier for us and I do feel comfortable doing baby led weaning I am a, I am a nurse so I had all my training I know how to deal with um, choking situations so you know I personally feel comfortable doing it whereas I know other people don't and whatever you choose to do is absolutely fine like food before one is just for fun so I think the first essential for weaning your baby is knowledge. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on baby led weaning uh, and just weaning in general because knowledge is power at the end of the day and YouTube is your best friend when it comes to weaning honestly. There's so much information out, out there from you know mums like us, dietitians, doctors who are on YouTube. So have a look on there first. The next one is, so in the UK, I don't know if you've got it anywhere else in the world, but in the UK, um, a lot of our baby food, when you see in the supermarkets, is done by a brand called Ella's Kitchen. And you actually can um, sign up on Ella's Kitchen for like a free baby weaning pack and then you become like a member and they send you information all the time. But this little pack, it comes with a, comes firstly with a my crunchy, munchy, bumpy, flumpy, squishy, wonderfully tasty weaning guide. And it's basically just a tips and tricks book on weaning basically, like when to start weaning, um, meet the experts, handy weaning, ooh, handy weaning checklist, cupboard essentials, and then it'll do pu the puree version and the finger food version. Then it's got little baby recipes if that's what you want to do, from the finger food to the purees. So that's really handy. And it's got, you know, it's just, just packed full of so much information about nutrients. It also comes with a little, um, what are these called, strip, little strip of, coupon voucher things for pouches and puffs and puffs and chicken dippers and then lastly it comes with a weaning chart so just gives you some ideas of what to start your baby on and what they tried first just little fun things to make it easy and just keep track and then again more information on the back here so nice to have and then secondly this book is highly rated everywhere, like I've seen it on all the mum Instagram pages, seen it on other weaning videos that I've watched, so I just had to give it a go. And it is What Mummy Makes book, and you know, it's, it's packed full of so much information. Uh, it basically gives you, just tells you everything you need to know about basic work. Well, it's not really baby led weaning bait, well actually I'm, I'm lying to you, it's baby led weaning base really. So it tells you when the right time for your baby, when to offer finger foods, when to offer purees, 
uh, what baby should taste first. Oh, I'm lying, there is some puree bits in here. Tips for encouraging your baby to eat, and then it also gives you a weaning checklist again, which Ellie's, Ella's, Ellie's, whatever it is, kitchen makes. And then it gives you, which is really handy actually, because there's so much um, information that you need to know, and your routine changes so much when you start weaning. And this gives you a, um, a day in the life weaning page, which is so handy. From six months all the way to 12 months, because obviously it's stages you have to drop bottles and everything. And then it also tells you what foods to avoid, and this page is honestly a good page to have, really. Tells you about sugars, salts, whole nuts, raw fish, honey, raw eggs, everything. So it really does help. How to cut and serve baby food. And then this last bit is just jam packed full of recipes that you know you, you don't just have to make for your baby, you can make for yourself as well. And to be honest, it all looks pretty damn good. So, yes, can't wait to start making stuff out of these. I also want to quickly add. I am doing a giveaway over on my Instagram to celebrate our milestone of starting baby love weaning. So if you'd like to win a copy of this book and actually the bamboo bamboo elephant play, which is in the photo conveniently, then head over to my Instagram. It is open until the 25th of April. We're in April, yep. Yeah. And I'm going to be doing the draw on the 26th and then I'll contact the winner on Instagram and get their address and I'm just going to ship it, I'm going to buy it from Amazon and just ship it straight to your, their winner's house. So yeah, if you fancy winning this, head over to my Instagram. The link for it will be down below. Next thing, equipment. So honestly, if you're doing baby led weaning, you don't even need anything really. If you've got a high chair, brill. If it comes with a tray, even better. You just shove the food on there and let them get on with it. Um, but I have bought things. So first thing, obviously something for your baby to sit on. I, you can just stick them on your lap and do it that way, but that's not how I want to roll. So I bought the Ikea antelope high chair. It was so, so affordable, 12 pound. And again, it's something that I've basically seen everyone have, but I didn't really like the look of it. It's white with like, dark grey feet so I bought some extra add-on bits from a company called Cove and I got a lovely cushion cover, um, leg covers, a tray cover and a footstool because it doesn't come with anything they let poor little legs just dangle around and it's not very good for their posture you know we don't I personally can say I don't like eating on a stool when my legs aren't feet aren't touching the floor so I wanted to, for him to have some extra support with that uh, and it looks so good very Instagrammable I must say so yeah 12 pound for the antelope the yeah, antelope high chair and then the other bits obviously were an add-on which I was happy to pay but if you're not bargain at 12 pounds next bibs Plenty of bibs. So we have got two different types of bibs. I was just gonna go with, um, let me get it out of the packet. I was originally just gonna go with the this style bib, the silicone one with the capture flap thing. But I think I was watching either, I think it was Hayley on YouTube. She was doing a weaning video or somebody else. Maybe it was Home, Home with Shan. I honestly can't remember I watched that many. Uh, they were saying that they couldn't believe how stained their baby's clothes were getting with all the green veg and I thought, mm, I'm not really keen on that. I don't want to have him sat naked all the time. So yeah, we've got the classic silicone bibs, but then I've also bought the long sleeved ones, which look more like painting, you know, kids crafting bibs, but they're for weaning. So these ones, how freaking cute are these, are from Amazon and that's got clouds on and then rainbows and then as you can see it's got this little flappy bit and that doesn't look like much but I'm just watching it. and then you fold this in and it has a little catcher so that's really handy and to be honest the designs on these are so cute and for two of these they were 18 pounds and I think these are going to be an absolute life saver when it comes to saving his outfits to be honest but again you don't need to buy these things. Like I said, you can just 
stick your baby in a nappy and hose them down afterwards if you want one. Thirdly, utensils and cutlery. Let me show you this cute set I got. Can I just start off by saying, this company has the most stylish baby weaning stuff I've ever seen. And at first off, it comes in these little bags, which they give you as a little freebie. And I just thought there were storage bags for these, but actually on the leaflet it says they're, you know, like reusable bags for anything. And I'm gonna start using these for our veg in the supermarkets once I start using these, because they sell these in the supermarket anyway. So yeah, all of this is from Baby Boozer. I think that's how it's pronounced. That is so cute. So first off, a bowl and a spoon. Really cute, silicone, easy to wash. Uh, no fuss, no fuss at all, except I have used it again. I'm not cleaned in that crevice very well. Uh, it's really handy as well because it's got a lid. So if we, if I want to take a snack out with me for him, pop that on and away we go. It does also come with a silicone spoon. I am going to be going out and buying more of these, which I haven't yet. <clears throat> I do want a couple with the metal spoons. Well, I'm going to get a cutlery set, metal cutlery set, just because um, we are going to be following the Montessori principles when weaning as well. So I want it to be as realistic as possible for him. So I will be introducing a metal spoon at the same time. Cute little plate. How cute is this? In the shape of a cloud. Got a cloud theme going on here, actually. Again, I'll leave all the links down below for these because I can't actually remember the price. But silicone and the whole thing sticks to the tray so they can't pull it off. Which I think is quite a normal thing for babies to just fling their uh, plates onto the floor. So hopefully it'll save my floor a little bit. So it comes with a couple of different compartments so we've got things to put in. This is the only one I've bought so far. I think I am gonna go ahead and buy a couple of the bamboo plates. Did also show you the bib from that collection. And then here's a little cup, my first cup. This again is silicone. It doesn't have a top and it's got two handles. I am going to go, on. I'm gonna be teaching Theodore how to drink out of a cup straight away. So I'm not gonna, I'm, I am still gonna buy him like a suppy cup suppy sippy sippy cup for when we're out and about or at other people's houses um because it's just a bit more convenient but when we're at home i am going to be teaching him how to actually drink from a open glass cup they do i've had a little look online and they recommend the ikea shot glasses which are apparently the most perfect size and um width for a baby to hold so i am going to be buying them and teaching him how to drink out of a proper glass, uh, which they recommend you to do as early as they can. But this one is also pretty handy to just stick in our bag when we go out. So, thirdly, I think, I have bought a little uh, crinkle cutter. This is because, why I bought this is because I was watching a couple of Baby Ludwini videos mostly by the i think she is her youtube's called the happer happer family which is the montessori family that i watch all the time if montessori is something that you're interested in go and pop over to her youtube which i'll link down below because the way she describes everything is just so easy to understand and she's just got a way of describing it so well and explaining it so we got one of these basically you just chop your veg up with it and you know you can leave them straight they're all meant to be finger sized but with the crinkles it apparently gives the gives you a little one something um extra to grip onto which is easy for them to grip with the ridges uh so that's what i bought and then also once the adult is older 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 and well not older 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 like two three and he wants to start helping in the kitchen if this is still going strong by then if not we'll get a new one then he can actually use this and help us do things in the kitchen because it is sharp but it's not sharp enough for them to cut themselves on so that's always good but yes i'm gonna go and give this a little go for when we're making like mm, carrot sticks potatoes sweet potato anything that we cut into you know finger size batons i'll be cutting up with this and also makes it look a bit more interesting doesn't it not just a straight old potato but a bit of a crinkle in there. And then the last thing that I've bought, which I think is probably the only thing I need, I probably need to buy a couple more and maybe bigger, 
but I've just bought some storage weaning pots. Uh, I got the bigger size in this Vital Baby. It just, literally just popped up the other day on Instagram. Someone recommended them and said they've been recommended quite a lot and they're really handy. So I bought the 120 mil ones and if I'm prepping some of this food, like if I can make a big batch of pasta or whatever I'm making, I don't know. I can just pop them in these little pots and like take them out and or stick them in the fridge or the freezer. Is there anything else I'm gonna buy? So the only other things that I don't have here that I am gonna buy is obviously a couple, some more utensils and a glass cup for him. But that is basically everything I've got so far for him to use. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. So if I have, let me know down below. Like I was saying, cause we are going the baby led weaning route. I haven't bought a blender, I haven't bought little puree um, silicone pots that everyone buys to store purees in. Um, if when I we get down the actual weaning route, which is a couple of weeks away, yeah, and I change my mind and I feel like I do need to buy these things and I'll happily go out and buy them, but I just, I don't want to waste my money buying things that I potentially I'm not going to use. So for now, this is what I've got. This is what I'm going to use and if I need to buy anything more then I'm going to buy stuff. I may feel that baby led wean is not for us when I start and I might switch on to purees. Um, we have bought a couple of their Mamiya pouches from Aldi just in case. Um, I've seen people use them as like little, extra little bits on the side for them to dip stuff in so that was my idea for that but if we end up moving on to them for some reason or other then I will go out and buy these extra things and you know do what I have to do but for now I'm pretty happy with what we've got I'm pretty happy with how we're going to start and if anyone who is doing baby led weaning thinks I'm missing anything essential please leave me a comment down below um, I am going to be doing this baby led weaning journey with you guys so hopefully this helped you a little bit uh, to get an idea of what you need like I said these are my essentials that I think we're gonna need, but doesn't mean you are. And you might have extra bits that you think are essential. And we haven't started the weaning journey yet, so I might find some of this I don't even use. Or it's not enough. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Again, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Also, check out my Instagram page because I'm super active over Instagram. I put stories up every day, and once this weaning journey starts, I am going to be documenting on there as well. Oh, 